Hello everybody, welcome to another amazing video in which I help you become a professional web developer through my video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel for Mark codewithmark.com and then also go there and get your free gift and I will leave a link in the description for you to uh, go do that. So let's move on in this video. I'm going to share with you how you can easily incorporate a session timeout into your application. So what in, the world, what in the world does that mean and why do you want to include it? So let's suppose for one second that we are working on a stock market a company and we are creating an application for them and they require for us after some inactivity what that means is that mouse is not moving and somebody's not typing up looking up stocks or have any kind of interaction with our application so after x amount of time we want person to automatically log off or give them the ability to log off if they want to log off or stay in touch meaning they click the button and continue to do what they want otherwise if the time has expired it's going to automatically log them off so what in the world all that means so let me just show you so i'm going to refresh my browser and i'm going to click on this button the one that says start timer dash cord with mark and then after five seconds, it's going to give you, show you a screen in which you say, hey, you can log in or you will be redirected after you log out. The time has expired. It's gonna log you, it's gonna log, redirect you to another URL, which will be your log out screen. And that way it will be, you know, whatever you want it to do with. So let's go back here and let's look at it one more time because i really want you to understand what's happening here so what happens is if after uh this comes up and if i say i want to stay logged in this is going to go away and then if i keep moving away and then nothing will happen and do all the things that i normally do as soon as i stop interacting with the screen which means no typing no things no interaction is going to come back with this that's that if i want i can log off or i can stay here all right so let's look at the code how does this whole thing happen so i'm just going to refresh it let's go back to here and today i'm using my good old sublime text editor in the past few videos i have used the vs code so i decided to use it today i don't know why but i just did all right so let's move on so i'm just using my regular you know uh my bootstrap with jquery and this particular plugin is for jquery and then this you can find in here i will leave a link in the description for you in which you can go and copy and paste it and we'll go more in detail how you can incorporate in here so let's move forward so we have our jquery part in here and then this is a function that says start a timer and then within this function i have this another function or plugin i should say jquery easy session timeout and then we have a few parameters here. We'll come back to that later in a little bit. So let's go back here. And then anytime someone clicks on this button, the green button, this thing gets fired up. And then we have this function that gets called and then this plugin takes in and that's it. And let's move down. And then we have our standard uh, bootstrap container with the text, text, and then button. So nothing really fancy going on in there. It's just a really simple button you click it and that's that so let's move up so in here i have this function called start timer i can take this out of this function and take it out and put it in here so what that's going to do is it's going to automatically and fire up soon as the page loads up so it doesn't require for someone to click the button to start the timer and that's that it's going to automatically do it right away and then within the function it has a few uh parameters that you can uh use and update for your own application requirement so let's say we have this stock exchange application and the first thing what we want to do is say, let's say after a five to after 10 seconds we want to show a dialog box and then in that particular dialog box it's going to start counting five four three two one and then once it reached to one and zero then it's going to take them to the url which has another uh logout screen would be that so that that 
and then this is what happens so you can set the total number of second that after that particular second has passed it's going to take them to another url so this will be the total number of second and this will be the inactivity dialog duration that means they that means that how long will the countdown dialog box will stay intact to show the person is going to have 15 seconds and count it backward it's going to have 30 seconds and count it backward so on and so forth you get the picture right so let's move forward and then uh, you can literally just take all this out if you want to and then only include these two and if you don't want to even include this it has some pre-built uh, settings that you could just do that and then that would be that and let's look at the plugin itself and then then at the very top starting with line number eight this is where the meat and potato of the plugin and just FYI and if you want to change the event type activity which means if there is no click then you're going to fire this up if there is only key press if there's no key press then you're going to fire that off we'll scroll so on and so forth and then i wouldn't worry about this one this is just the internal within the plugin just leave that alone if i were you and then this is the message that says your session is about to expire due to inactivity and then time remaining this is where the countdown thing comes up and then your session expiration warning title that will be at the top and inactivity logout url by default i just have it to go to your my website which is codewithmark.com and then if you want your inactivity you could just say hey go to after 15 seconds uh show the dialogues but it's gonna wait about good 10 minutes in seconds so uh, 600 seconds are 10 minutes so it's gonna wait 10 minutes and then for the last 15 minutes 15 seconds it's gonna show the dialogue box and that's that so if you want to just change it here you can but I, if I were you I would just put it in as a parameter called this five seconds wait show the dialogue and then after 10 seconds normally you don't want your users to after 10 seconds to you know show the dialogue box or log them off that's that i would say a minimum of uh, 20 minutes if not maximum of 30 minutes if there's no activity if your application requires because if you do a 10 second people are going to get annoyed and you'll be like this application sucks that's what they're gonna say so I would say 10 minutes, which would be 600 uh, seconds. And then if you want to do you know, 30 minutes, you could do the math from there. And that's that. And let's suppose in here, after we'll just pass this uh, URL, which would be just Google's homepage. Let's suppose we'll go over here, we refresh the page, and then we'll say after we start the thing, and then it's going to go in and our logout URL will be Google's page. So I'm going to I click the button I'm gonna wait for five seconds for it to come up and then it's gonna say hey five four three two one and then no I don't want to say log in it's gonna take me to the home page of Google and that's that so you could send it to a URL where you ever you want it to go to which will be your log out URL or any other URL your login page or whatever the case might be right or you can call it as a callback function like this and then from here you can do whatever activity you want to do whether it will be send an ajax request to your uh php server or node.js server or asp or any server in general and then from there end the session and then bring it back from your ajax request and then redirect them to your login page or main website page or whatever the case might be yeah you could do that so let's see this in action so what i'll do is i'll put it in inspect and this is this this is this i'll refresh it start the timer and now wait about five seconds what i'm expecting to see on the right hand side right over here is going to say your logout code goes here, which I'm just canceling it out. And then because nothing is happening here, it's just going to leave it here. And then your application is pretty much dead in the water because <laughs> it won't be able to do anything. So that is that. But if you want, 
this particular code to run soon as your page load you could literally just take this out of the function and then call it right on the page and that's that so if i do that refresh the page without moving my mouse it's just gonna wait about five seconds this comes up and then i want to say login i want to stay login and that's that so that's how you can do that and then if i want to bring it back into function i could just do that and if i wait for five seconds nothing is going to happen because i put it back in the function and so until the function is called nothing will happen so hopefully this was helpful and if you really really enjoy this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below if there's something that i missed maybe you want to add so that way the future web developers who are watching this video they can benefit from your comment and maybe check out your potential uh thing that you have to offer maybe leave a link and you know we'll all help each other out to grow so until next time guys happy coding